Okay, here we are at the mill. We just went to the neighbor's house and we grabbed this massive log here. And we got it on our HM126 here. This is the biggest log we've cut up so far. There it is. First cut is done. Now they're measuring 16 feet to cut that section. While James is cutting up the log, they let us borrow their golf cart. We drove it back to their pond on the back part of their property and the boys are feeding the fish. Look at them. Do you see them? Taking them? Get them. Get them out there. I didn't want him to break our trailer. Look at these massive trees. These will definitely be the biggest logs that we have milled on the mill. That's compared to my hand. Here's a cable, it's probably like a hundred foot long. Alan gave it to me, his dad used it. Alan's using it and he's giving it to me to use. So thank you for that, Alan. And it was significantly easier pulling that log out with that giant cable. How easy did it feel with the tractor? I didn't hardly feel the logs. I was very surprised, but it was because I was up on a hill, probably. Gotcha. Still. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to turn this track this around. Okay. I'm probably going to just back down this way, pull up, back, and then go that way. Okay. He's got to turn it around because I cannot turn around this big truck with that giant trailer. So he's going to turn it around for me so I can drive it back to the house, and he'll drive the tractor back to the house. up, ready to go.
Keep going, it's not on the ground yet. For the first time ever, we have completely maxed out the HM126. This log is massive. Babe, get the tape. Let's take a measurement. This is the biggest log that we've gotten so far. This is a red oak log a neighbor gave to us. It fell down at his house last week. Uh, biggest log we've done. This is 19 and a half inches. Um, so not technically maxed out, but this is big. What's the biggest heavy. log that this mill can do? I think it's a 24 inch log okay. at 16 and a half feet. I think this is a, just a little bit shy of 16 and a half. I may okay. have to trim the end. I'm not sure how far the mill is going to go. But uh, this is, yeah, this is 16 foot, about four and a half inches. So this is a very big log. I'm very hard to get these kind of logs up there. And I have no idea how we're going to turn this. Oh, gosh. And I think we're going to cut this up into some dimensional lumber to be able to build another uh, shop or a barn over on the other ridge. So um, we're going to probably cut this up into two by sixes and some two by twelves. Uh, two by sixes for the purlins on the side for the metal and two by twelves for the um, trusses up on top. And we're going to cut these to 16 foot. I'm not 100% sure how far we're going to span. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's usually every 12 feet, but I could be wrong about that. But we got a 16 and a half foot log here. We're going to cut the dimensional lumber out of the whole entire log. So biggest log I've ever cut up so far, so we'll see how everything goes. This thing is so hard to flip and my husband's not weak. So we got this side here cut off and this side. Now we just obviously have to do the other two, but look at how beautiful this is. Look at that nice wood grain. It's really pretty. This would make a beautiful giant dining room table for my back three seasons room when we get it done trying to talk him into that but I haven't won him over yet but anyway we're gonna flip this again and then saw off the next side Now we got three sides milled down. This log is so big compared to the cedars that we normally cut down. It's insane. It's massive and it's beautiful wood. Look at that. So we're gonna flip it and mill it one last time.
just got the last one done. This is a two by 12 by 16 feet. And these suckers are heavy. Very heavy. You carrying this one by yourself or you want me to help you? I can do it. I don't know how he does this because I struggle to carry it with him. How much weight do you think that is? It's gotta be 100 pounds. It's way more than 100 pounds. 100 pounds, it's way heavier than that. Yeah, I don't know how heavy it is, but it's extremely heavy. Nothing I can't handle though. <laughs> You already get my sticks? Yep. Wow. That was easy. And we had a nice little system going on. While he was cutting the lumber, I would come over and I would brush all this sawdust off with the broom. And then I would cut a bunch of these with the circular saw to stick in between so that it dries out without rotting. It's got to get that air in between it. I'm sure those of you that mail, you know this to keep the wood from rotting. But anyway, so I cut all those and swept everything off and James did all the cutting. It was a nice little system. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those boards. They're big. There's a lot of weight on this trailer. And this here's a bunch of cedar that my dad wanted us to mill up for a dock that he's going to build at his house. There's a lot of wood on this. Good job, babe. Thanks. How was it putting that giant log on the mill? It was actually really hard. Everything has to be precise. You don't want to bump your mill, you knock your mill over. Logs heavy like that. I mean, it's probably three times the weight of that sawmill. So one wrong move and you got a sawmill laying over and probably a lot of broken and bent pieces. So that was our biggest log that we've done. I would do it again. I've learned a lot just by doing that one big log. We do generally do little cedars and those are light already we can manhandle those pretty easily but had to have machinery pretty much the whole time on uh, on that log there so not too bad turned out great woodland mill sawmill again working above our expectations and giving us lots of free lumber This is the first load of wood for the barn that James just brought over. Or maybe I should call it the shop, but regardless, here it is. We gotta empty this whole thing out and put it into our barn that's already over here. Oh, we did it. I'm so tired. Here it is. It may not look like it in the video, but that is a lot of lumber. And these are two inches thick. So these are really big boards. <laughs>